joining us on a little mini break. We are having two nights at the Chalk Valley camping site. We're going glamping for the first time. I mentioned in a couple of vlogs that Hubby had put aside some budget so that we could go away a few times in the school holidays. Um, and this is our first kind of proper break. We went to Legoland. You have reached your destination. We went to Legoland for a one night stay. <laughs> for a one night stay and now we're going glamping and we're just following the signs to find where we've got to park. So over in Seven Oaks the weather was yeah, really really horrible but here at the moment it's sunny it's and warm. The fire crest. Yeah. Here's our little home for the night. Two nights actually. So these are our toilets for the next two days. I'm gonna try it out. Oh, must be nice, aren't they? So this is the like little kitchen area. There's like a gas hob. Oh no. our first attempt of a barbecue so the weather is really nice what the heck has happened to my hair technically we're cheating yeah technically we're using a portable barbecue on top of a barbecue barbecue so yeah we're um, just chilling out it's really lovely weather I've got my pinchers and I've got my hair everywhere oh thank you mm. Oh, so you did. I'm I feel like the kids are really safe. They're actually in the um, tent thing at the moment. But I do feel like they're, they're really safe here. Although there's a pond, the pond is like quite far behind me. And it's all kind of fenced off, so they can't go anywhere, which just makes me feel like really safe. <laughs> no? Is <laughs> it gone? No. Is <laughs> <laughs> <Is it> gone? <laughs> So I just had to yeah. have one of the other people huh? that are staying here. A lady helped me to do the gas hob so that I could cook the kids some hot chocolate because what I forgot was that the hot chocolate that we have has to be heated milk so I couldn't just boil some water. I've had to go down and heat some milk but the kids are now having hot chocolates and it is about 7 o'clock, 10 past 7. So technically it's bedtime but I think we'll probably... I don't want it. I don't like marshmallows, darling. Um, so we'll probably wait until it's a bit more darker before we get the kids to sleep. Drink it. <laughs> what have you done? Put it in the cup and drink it. Show me. Yes. It's the bottle of hand. <laughs>
I'm no sleep. You're not asleep, are you? You're meant to be in bed. It's 10 o'clock. It's all new for you, isn't it? Hey. So we're sitting by the fire, aren't we? Having a cuddle. Morning, I love camping. Morning, I love camping. Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah. <laughs> so there's like no electricity at all so I bought my hairdryer thinking there might be like electricity in the shed bit with the kitchen but there really isn't so I'm trying to keep my hair moving so it doesn't like I don't know dry in a weird position we are off to Longleat today Longleat Safari and it is about eight o'clock now we're leaving at like nine not sure if you can see that but P2 and P1 have made friends with the other little kids that are on the uh, site at the moment So we're at Long Lake Safari if you didn't know already and I can't remember if I've even vlogged yet. We have just finished, we're at the wolf bit which is the last bit of the safari and then we're going to head down and park and hopefully head to the sea lions, you know with the little boat, if you've been to Long Lake, they've got like a boat that goes along the river. And hopefully we're going to get on that before it gets really busy. And then we're just going to have a wander around, have some lunch. The kids have been a little bit stressful during this safari. They have been changing seats and moaning that they don't want to be in the car. So, yeah, not exactly the pleasant safari trip we hoped for, but it was still lots of fun. I think there's a bug takeover at uh, Longleat at the moment. So there's big giant bugs basically all over the place. just come into the little monster marvelous monsters area for the kids it's got like sensory gardens and things and activities that they can do to learn about bugs and insects and stuff so the kids are there and hubby has just bought a pepperoni pizza for us to share no. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little bit of lunch and then carry on with our day
this is like a new zone for Longley since we've been here. Uh, we were here about two years ago, so it's probably not that new, but we're in the bit called Bee Zone. There's birds and there's real life live beehives. quarter to five and we're just heading back to the car hubby's taking the kids to the car and i had the duty of getting the painted things that they did we are heading back to the campsite now i think because it's really hot today and we've seen absolutely everything at long late so we've had a really lovely day and it's just time to make a move really before it gets too late for the kids if they sleep in the car I have one child to sleep behind me, which is P2. P1 had a very tiny nap. P3 had her nap whilst we were at um, Longleat, so that was quite handy because now she's gonna go to sleep at a relatively okay time. We are now arriving back at the campsite now, so it's all gonna be back to rural living. No signal, no electricity. But P1 made a little friend at the campsite yesterday. I think she's gone home now, I think there's a new family that has checked in but we've come back home today and she's written a little note it says thank you for playing with us and it's so sweet what a sweet thing to do uh -oh. ah. <laughs> got a little once in a Did you like the safari? Yeah, it's so good and it's a poo. You didn't like the safari, <laughs> did it really? No, I don't like it. It's You're so good. heavy! You're so heavy, Mummy. <laughs> we ran out of firewood because Hubby used it like all last night and he wasn't sparing me about it. And now he is bare grills in it, as he's saying, to find firewood. Look at him. He's foraging for wood to do the fire, look. 
How pathetic is that? Hubby is currently in the middle of the field because that's the only place that you can get a signal. Can you spot him? Spot him! We're getting ready for bed for our last night. It's 25 minutes past seven. We had this one wake up station easy a wee. Hubby's just taken take pee three for a wee as well and it's raining today. And um, we did we were told that it was gonna be pretty foul today. Um we knew it was gonna be bad, okay. Yeah, so that's okay, but it just means that it's gonna be a little bit harder to pack up and keep the kids entertained because when you're camping and it's raining, you've got to keep everybody in one little tiny space. Hopefully we'll be okay for the next couple of hours. We've got to get showered and pack up the tent ready to go and see Great Nanny... Granddad. Yeah, Great Nanny Sylvia and Great Granddad Charlie. Yeah? yeah. It's Great Granddad Charlie's birthday today. Yeah! I think there's going to be a birthday cake. We don't know. Just doing a final check of the tent because I thought I had everything the kids messed it up. So yeah, we're off now. <laughs> so we spent the day at Hubby's Nan and Granddad and now we are heading off to a restaurant I think for some food and then we will be heading back. It is now about quarter to seven so it's quite late by the time we've eaten it's going to be like super late um, i'm hoping the kids are going to be good and sleep and then be transferred when we get home but i bet we're going to be in for a bit of a rough night so i'm going to try and sleep on the journey home as well about 20 past nine now our estimated time of arrival at home is 11 40 ish depending on the traffic um, the kids are all awake at the moment they're very tired so they're not gonna be awake for very long but I've got Kung Fu Panda playing on the little DVD players and I'm just gonna hope that they stay awake as long as possible so that they're kind of you know more sleepy so we wake them up a little bit or try not to wake them up and try and transfer them I'm really nervous because I'm so, so tired. I really want them to just go to sleep.